Welcome back, y'all. We're going to be looking at a GPT here that allows us to convert any files to different file types, such as JPEGs, PNGs, stuff like this. I mean, I used to do this back in the day where you'd go to a random site to convert a PNG to a JPEG. If this has the ability to do that, it's going to be super cool. Got to give credit where credit's due. This comes from the user of Pitro. I might have just completely butchered that name. Sorry if I did. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure I leave the chat or the GPT in the description down below so you can go ahead and start using it yourself. We're going to go ahead and try everything we can with it. We're going to push it to its limits and see if it's actual, if it's an actual useful tool. So let's go ahead and begin here. Uh, let's just start off by asking, you know, what are the capabilities of this plugin? I like, not plugin, wow, not that. Uh, I like asking kind of a general question before using a GPT so I can get an understanding of like the direction I can go and like, you know, how I can leverage it. All right. So as you see here, we can accept file uploads, multiple formats, conversion, and uh, we can also do zip uploads. So that was probably the coolest thing I saw on this GPT was the ability for us to compress uh, an entire folder of files and basically convert it. So we're going to do that today. Let's first start off pretty simple here. I'm going to go ahead and upload a PNG of a penguin and just see if we can uh, convert it into a JPEG. To upload, all we need to do is hit that little paper clip. All right, so this is a PNG. I'm going to say, okay, can we convert this to a JPEG? And as you see here, we got our nice little PNG here. This this style comes from the sticker GPT that's made by uh, ChatGPT, so you can play around with that, uh, the outputs from that prompt. Let's go and see what it does here and how it proceeds here. I think this is a super cool tool. If you're familiar, with, like if you've converted files in the past, you know you'd go to like a random website, you would just type in PNG to JPEG and it's like the elephant one or whatever. So if GPT can do this now, I mean, that really took a bunch of their traffic. So <laughs> I guess it is what it is. All right, so as you see here, supposedly we can download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And as you see there, it is a JPEG. So the original was a PNG. Let me go grab the PNG real quick. All right, perfect. So as you see here, we went from a PNG to a JPEG. That's exactly what we like to see here. So other features are the ability to take this kind of file converter and use it for videos. I thought this was interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and take a video and try to just get the audio file. All right. So this is a video I made earlier today, uh, how to make a GBT chatbot on your website trained on your business status. You can check that out. Really cool. So I'm going to play a little we'll bit. Y'all today we're going to be the chat. Well, I'm going to show you a minute long edit on your website. The actual video is 30 minutes, but I'm going to go and try and basically just get the MP3 of that. And I'm going to see if it has the capability to do this. I'm going to go and upload it again. Okay. Can we get the MP3 from this video? I'm going to copy this because it looks like it might've been frozen here. I'm going to try this again. So keep that in mind. It looks like it can't handle videos yet as it seems like this is probably too large of a file size. So I'm gonna try its other feature here, unless, let me know in the comments if it works for you for the videos, is I'm gonna take a zip file of four different images that are PNGs and convert them into JPEGs. All right, so here we go. We got our zip here, we're uploading. Uh, can we convert all these to JPEGs? This is gonna be extremely powerful if this works as this is gonna really expedite workloads when it comes to this context. For reference, this is what's in the folder, or sorry, the zip. Uh, we got four images here, all PNGs as you see. So let's go ahead and see how it gives us our output and comparatively check it. Okay, so as you see, it did take a couple of tries, but I just let it keep going. And we did supposedly get the converted JPEG images. So let's go check it out. There we go. As you see, we have them in JPEG format, the original being this coffee mug. And then we get the PNG over here. This is really, really good here as, you know, back in the day, even though it just came out like a week ago, we would go to random websites to try to convert files like that. So the last thing I want to test out here is I'm going to upload a PDF of an invoice, which I'll go ahead and show right now. So this is a fake invoice. We've done a tutorial on this on the past using Zapier as an automation software and OpenAI in order to extract this information and put it into an Excel or CSV. That being said, Let's see if this GPT can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the chat here. I'm gonna upload that invoice. Now I'm not gonna really give it a direction at first. I wanna see if I don't have to proctor as much and see the output. If the output's not amazing, I'm gonna go ahead and proctor a little bit. So I'm gonna say, uh, based on this invoice, can we take the relevant information and put it in a CSV? And enter here and let's see what it can do here. Okay, so as you see here, it made an attempt and it basically says it can do it, but it says, given this challenge, I propose the following option, manual data entry, okay, or resubmit for a different file. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and first see if I can just narrow it down a little bit. I'm just gonna say, just take the invoice data. Okay, can we just do the data associated with a new semicolon and then put an SEO website and SEO blog written. For a reminder, that is the two um, services we're providing in this fake invoice. All right, so it's asking for the information. I'm gonna say, you find the info. And if this doesn't work, I'll provide the information and we'll just see what it comes out with. Okay, so there seems to be an issue here with being able to read the PDF. I'm just gonna provide the data and let's just see how it would format the CSV. Hit enter here and let's go. All right, so we got our downloadable CSV file. I'm gonna click it. Okay, not bad. It seems to be limited by its ability to read PDFs, but it does create a CSV with all the relevant columns and prices associated with the services. So that seems pretty solid. Overall, I think the way you would use this GPT specifically is in the context of converting files in bulk. So using like the zip feature, that seems to be the most powerful part about this plugin. Not plugin, GBT. I assume in the future, uh, we'll be able to upload bigger files. I think that's just purely based off OpenAI's backend when it comes to that context. But that's super cool here. Make sure to leave a like if you felt like you learned something. Check out the playlist at the end here as we're diving into GBTs. I'm showing you how to create public ones, private ones. Today, we just launched a video showing you how to create a GBT chatbot for your website uh, for free and no code. Super cool. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise. I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.